Welcome to the fourth round of the 2016 F2 World Championship and the second race held in Norway this year. The Tonsberg Grand Prix, 26 boats entered the event and 12 of them already qualified for the race on Saturday with Eric Edin taking his third pole position of the season. So the remaining pilots had to do a qualifying race on Sunday morning to find out who will be the lucky four pilots to get a chance to enter the Grand Prix later on Sunday. The Swede Ola Pettersen was the winner of the 16-lap qualifying race and will line up on the grid on 13th spot. Also, Uwe Slakteris, Mette Bjergnes and Edgaras Ryabko qualified and will enter the race later on. So all was set for the Tonsberg Grand Prix, except for the weather. The permanent rain wouldn't make this race any easier, but when the lights turned off, the boats came off the dock and Eric Edin made the best out of his pole position and could stay in front. But Pierre Landin, starting 10th, had an incredible start. The Swede stormed up to third when the field reached the first turn. Also, Matt Parfreman made ground after a bad start and was already fifth after the second turn when he challenged Alberto Camperato for fourth spot. And Parfreman got past the Italian and moved up to fourth. Eric Edin in the lead when the yellow flags came out because new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov hit a turn boy which now drifted into the race course. When the green flag was shown, leader Edin got a perfect restart and also Pierre Landin did. The Swede could pass Rube Temper for second spot, but the Austrian could get this second place back in the turn, but Landin could stay very close behind boat number five. But all of a sudden, yellow came up again when Christian Carlson turned over after the right-hander. Second restart of the day and a repetition of the events. Eric Edin with a good restart as well as Landin who again could get beside Rup Temper on the inside. But the Austrian took the outside line around the turn and was still on second. Now it was Landin getting under pressure. Matthew Perferman saw his chance rising of trying a move on Landin. Side by side they were coming out of the turn. Drag race towards the next right-hander, but Perferman had to back off this time. Landin, meanwhile, could close up on Rube Temper again. The world champion determined to get this second spot. The first three in the race, Edin, Tampa and Landin, only separated by a few seconds. But then Landin spun out after the right-hander and Parferman moved up to second. I had some luck there also because I had spun out and, and thought I would roll uh, me too there. So uh, now it was um, a tricky course. Needless to say that the weather conditions got rougher and rougher lap by lap and just half a lap later it was Rube Temper rolling over right at the same spot Landin had his spin. So the second placed boat seemed to be out of the race. Yellow came out and unfortunately Parferman had to let pass Landin again. Because the positions of the prior lap are counting for the boat order under yellow. Rip Temper could keep his engine running and continued the race. The restart and again Edin could stay in front of Landin and Parferman. But Parferman on fire now, he was trying to get Landin again driving on the edge. But now it was Eric Edin in big trouble, the leader rolling over in the turn. The boat keeps going, but Landin slipped through as well as Parferman. Well, I just lost the grip in the turn uh, and just made a 360 uh, and just totally filled the boat with water. And I can just hear my radio guy in the air just telling me, go, 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 go. And then I thought, like, maybe I'm on the right side up. So I just put this throttle full and completed the race. <laughs> Oh! 
the new leader coming from 10th on the grid, Pierre Landin, followed by Matthew Palfreman and then Alberto Comparato retired with technical problems, the third from qualifying out of the Tonsberg Grand Prix. Again, a boat spinning out after the right-hander. Andrei Panyushkin with a spin at the spot where already Carlson Temper and Lundin were in trouble. And also Mette Bjergnes loses control at the very same part of the track. But still, the Norwegian driver had the race of her life. She had to go through the qualifying race and is now at 6th position in the race. And that's the position where she will see the checkered flag, making this her best F2 result ever. Into the final laps of the race, Eric Idin more and more struggling with the broken power steering. He had to let go Konstantin Ustinov, who moved up to third place on the track, but got one lap penalty for destroying the turn boy at the beginning of the race. So Idin indeed finishes third in this dramatic race. My expectations was to win and I controlled the race, but I, I did a huge mistake, but... Uh... Yeah, 12 po points in a bag, it's better than zero. Matthew Perfroman was still trying to catch race leader Pierre Landin, but just couldn't get him. So Perfroman finished second in Tonsberg. Our main goal was to get around the first turn and then start going, you know, picking off drivers one by one. We knew we had 45 laps. So, and as you can see from the race, one by one drivers started making mistakes and we started capitalizing. The one mistake that really cost us the, the race, I think, was Pierre made a small mistake after, I don't know, 10, 20 laps of pressure. We got past him and then the yellow flag came out and he got his, he's got his position back under the yellow. And then, again, it was another 20 laps of just hard pressure, but he drove a phenomenal race to stay in front because that was driving hard, real hard. He made the impossible possible. The reigning world champion Pierre Landin won the Tonsberg Grand Prix after starting 10th and is now the new leader in the championship after round four. All I think about now is that I'm leading the, the championship. So uh, it's a little bit easier, more comfortable for to come to Sarasai. Uh, I don't feel any pressure like that so no I'm I'm happy for this there is no doubt that this was one of the most dramatic and spectacular F2 races in a long time but the championship is still very open Matthew Perfroman still waits for his first win and Eric Edin still wants the gold as well when I do what I should do there is no problem so I just need to Focus and don't do these stupid mistakes and fuck everything up. So I think it's going to be good in the end. I will do what I can to, to take this gold medal home. The next F2 round will be the Grand Prix of Lithuania in Sarazai. Don't miss the action there and keep on following F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com.